Good morning. Hey. Thank you for joining this morning. Thank you for being here. Um, we think it's Wednesday the 20th. And today, today, I'm going to read from the 24-hour day book. Um, and, uh, and in this little book, um, this, an amazing fellow must have written this book in 1954, so, you know, quite a while ago. Would that be 70 years, almost? And um, a lifetime ago. And, <clears throat> and he wrote it in such a way that, uh, um, he wrote it in such a way that it has a, a thought for the day, a meditation for the day, and a prayer for the day. And the idea of it, I think, is to help us set the tone for the day. And I suspect with the possibility that in each day we're chipping away a little bit at ego, we're chipping away a little bit at, at fear, at, at ego, you know. <coughs> so that as we chip away, and, and, and that's part of the process, it seems, in, in this awakening process called the 12 Steps, is we chip away at, at, uh, at ego, we chip away at uh, what ego's manifestations are, which are fear and guilt and shame and, and um, desire and, and pride. And we chip away at these things uh, to expose our natural self. And uh, um, lately I was just sharing with Trevor, as I get a little older, I have a, this fear, which of course is, again, ego, but this fear that we won't get enough chipped away <laughs> to, to have the realization, to have the full awakening. Because it seems to come and, and go and come and go. And, yeah, anyway. So we're chipping away, though. And um, after I finish the reading today, I'm off to a, a little farewell for a friend that, uh, um, you know, hopefully found himself uh, before he passed. Hopefully he found himself before he passed. And uh, he died a, a bit of a tragic death in the woods not that long ago. And, uh, the, uh, and I spoke to him the day before he left and I'm sure he didn't realize that that was happening and that was coming. And, and, uh, but hopefully in his search, you know, literally that was what he was doing. He was searching for some place quiet. He was going to go off grid. He wanted quiet. And uh, all of us are looking for that quiet place that silent place that uh, where the noise of the mind stops, the noise of the ego stops. And uh, um, so here we are together, chipping away uh, to the silence, on our way to the silence, <clears throat> coming home. So May 20th, when I read these to you in the morning, this is the first time I read them. You know, I, I haven't gone through and and uh, had a look at it to see <laughs> what what he's presenting today. This is it. May 20th. If we get up in a meeting and tell something about ourselves in order to help the other fellow, we feel a whole lot better. Hmm. So he's talking about like a 12-step meeting. If we get up in a meeting and tell something about ourselves in order to help the other fellow, we feel a whole lot better. It's the old law of the more you give, the more you get. Witnessing and confession are part of keeping sober. Kind of neat, isn't it? And for us, keeping sober is, 
is, is about finding our natural state, our quiet space, our God space inside of us. You never know when you may help somebody. Helping others is one of the best ways to stay sober yourself. And the satisfaction you get out of helping a fellow human being is one of the finest experiences you can have. That's his thought for the day. And the question is, am I helping others? Well, we, you know, as I've, I've, I've mentioned here before, that uh, um, selfishly, really, uh, if we carry a message of love and hope and a message of awakening, a message of peace, it lifts us up. It really does. And so anywhere that you can find to carry that message, to listen to others with compassion, um, do it. Take the chance, you know, it, where you can be and, and share your experience, strength and hope. Take the chance. Uh, actually, pray for the chance. I do. I ask God to... You know, to help me to be of use, to take away my difficulties so that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help. And it's all about that. In, in the 12-step world, it's all pointing towards how, how to, you know, giving this away. And, and, uh, and then the meditation for the day. Without God, no real victory is ever won. All the military victories of great conquerors have passed into history. The world might be better off without military conquerors. The real victories are won in the spiritual realm. He that conquers himself is greater than he who conquers a city. The real victories are victories over sin, temptation, and ego, leading to a victorious and abundant life. Therefore, keep a brave and, and trusting face. Keep a brave and trusting heart. Face all your difficulties in the spirit of conquest. Remember that where God is, there is the true victory. Wow. I'm going to read that again because that's very well written, you know, and very... Uh, appropriate for me today because sometimes I, I you know I also feel disconnected I don't know if any of you ever feel that if you think you know I'm, there's one thing to believe that there is a God there's another to have this experience of him and uh, and it's not always there you know it's not always there there's sometimes when you know I wake up in the morning and say my God where have you gone you know and and uh, Egos come in so strong with fear and and uh, just uh, bullshit conversation that it does all on its own. I think sometimes with the the rattle that goes on in here, I could be locked up. <laughs> um, some of you may re may um, connect with that. I'm going to read this meditation for the day again. Without God, it says no real victory is ever won. All the military victories of great conquerors have passed into history. The world might be better off without military conquerors. The real victories are won in the spiritual realm. Thank you, thank you, yes. He that conquers himself is greater than he who conquers a city. The real victories are victories over sin and temptation, leading to a victorious and abundant life. Therefore, I keep a brave and trusting heart. Face all your difficulties in the spirit of conquest. Remember that where God is, there is the true victory. Nice. So the prayer for the day. I pray that the forces of evil in my life will flee before God's presence. I don't like in myself the word evil. I think that we're talking about the forces of ego the forces of fear, um, you know, not so the forces of evil. Evil is kind of a mystical word, you know, that we, that's hard for us to comprehend. 
Um, so I, I pray that the forces of ego in my life will flee before God's presence. I pray that with God I will win the real victory over myself. That's so appropriate for me this morning. So, isn't it? What we were saying, yeah. So appropriate. So as I go this morning to see this young man off, you know, in this time we're not even going to have a service. We're just going to take him to the, take his body to, to lay it to rest. But uh, as I go this morning to, to do that, you know, I remember that our time is short here. And uh, um, I remember as a, as a young man saying, well, I'll put off my relationship, my commitment to this spiritual realm. I'll put this off until I'm an older man. And thank God I've gotten to live to be an older man. And um, but I, I, this man that we're going to put, you know, in the ground today, he didn't get to live to be an older man. And... Uh, None of us have any guarantees on, on time here. So, you know, if you feel drawn to this connection, this, you know, this God connection, um, recognize that when we let go and we surrender, all of who we think we are, all of what we think we need, and, and trust in each moment that we are being looked after, that we are in the flow of life, that we are one with God, um, then we're there. <laughs> yeah, just a matter of surrender. So, love you. Love you, love you, love you. And uh, yeah, anybody today or any day wants to chat, has something that comes up, or is living in 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 the misery, in the fear, deep in it in any way, please be in touch. Just be in touch. We'll we'll uh, we'll chat. I don't know if I can help, but. I will try, and I pray for you. We pray for each other. Thank you. <laughs>